Patriots. Thank you, Joan. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Patriots. I want to thank our beautiful law enforcement that are here today, keeping us safe. Thank you. Thank you. Allowing us to be free again, right? I also want to thank our active military members and veterans. Thank you. And I'll share this with you. My two sons are serving active duty today, carrying a rifle to keep all Americans safe. Even these misguided Marxist misfits behind us, because we're Americans, right? The problem is, the misguided misfits behind me want to take away your freedoms, your rights. So I'm here to ask you today to stand up with us and fight. We're going to fight and we're going to take the Commonwealth back. Now, if you're waiting for someone from Washington, stop waiting. You got the fake Indian and Mr. Frosty. It ain't happening. Stop writing the letters and cards. Save your time and effort. If you think Beacon Hill's gonna save you, it's been radicalized. It's all transgender, Black Lives Matter bullshit. They don't care about you and me anymore. We need to stand together and fight. Are you ready? Because it happened right here in 1775. And I'm not telling you to pick up a rifle. I'm telling you to organize and push back hard. Black Lives Matter does not belong in your school. It's a Marxist organization. You have to fight this. Dave said it before. You have to fight it at the local level. You got to go down to town hall. You got to get involved. Now, the playbook at United Cape Patriots that, that Joan mentioned, it's really simple. You can do it. It's scalable. You start small. Step number one, servant leadership. They teach that in the military. It's why our kids will follow a lieutenant up a hill of sand under fire. It's powerful. You need to get out there and lead in your community. All right? Do the heavy lifting. Take care of the troops first. Do that well and people will follow you. It's really simple. The second part, be that conservative voice in your community. You go up against BLM. You go up against these Marxists and others will follow you. Together, we will support our great law enforcement again, including our sheriffs and their 287G program that locks up the bad hombres every month in Massachusetts. We must support our law enforcement. Together, we will support our Massachusetts military again, including Joint Base Cape Cod and the beautiful machine gun range that they're gonna put in soon. Together we will fight special interests down at Beacon Hill. You have lost your voice there. You have no voice in Beacon.